I look into the future, my darling. And for you, I see something grotesque. It will sicken and disgust you. It's me! <laughs> Tonight's tale is a sickening stab at suspense about a gold digger who wanted big bucks to buy baubles and bangles. Look out, Kathy. I see you just might buy the big one. <laughs> you could tell the future. She heard correctly, didn't she, Trotsky? Well, I, I don't believe in this stuff, but I thought if it didn't go over my lunch hour, you know, what the hell? Yes, darling, what the hell? The fee is $20. You pay in advance? One of bucks. So what do you use, tarot cards? I have what people call the second sight. I use myself and you. I read your vibrations. Sit down. My what? Imagine that I am an empty vessel, and your psychic energy, your spirit, fills me up. Shall we? You are a working girl, aren't you? A secretary, wasting your life away. Type, 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 type. Uh, but that's not the plan, is it? All your life, you have desired to marry well, to marry for money, but your chance never came. So you keep working and hoping to meet Mr. Right. Or should I say, Mr. Rich? Not bad. Well, today, you lose your job. Forget it. My boss is out of town. So there's no way I could get fired, not today. You just made a big mistake. In this area, I don't even make small ones. I tell you more. By the end of today, you have a new job. You know what? You're nuts. My lunch hour is almost up. I'm out of here. Thanks for nothing. Trotsky, get over here. Trotsky, get over here. Sally, Madame Borna was a total waste of time. She was a real quack. She went into this bizarro act and spotted out that Clayton was going to fire me today. I told her that asshole's not even in town. Actually, Miss Finch, that asshole came back unexpectedly. I'm sorry, Mr. Clayton. No, Miss Finch, I'm not the kind of thin-skinned boss who gets upset at being called a nasty name. I'm not. However, this uh, time card here indicates you went to lunch at 12. Yes, sir. You know we allow only one hour for lunch here. Of course, Mr. Clayton, I'm aware of that. Well, you're fired, Miss Finch. It's now 1.25. Pack up and get out now. You are not laid off. You're fired. You understand? Oh, ow, ow, I'm not ow. fired. I quit, you cheap bastard, and you'll never replace me. Oh, no, you're totally irreplaceable. We'll probably have to close down. Ow. Where will I ever find another waitress? Hey, you. Hey. What, are you talking to me? You want a job? Okay, so you were right. I did get fired. But it was because of your stupid clock. It's slow. Well, so it is. But you weren't unemployed for long, were you, darling? No, I wasn't. Every exit is an entrance someplace else. Right, Trotsky? There is a new wind blowing for you. I see a great deal of money coming into your life someday. Trust me, darling. But first, I see a man in black, and you are in white next to him. It is your wedding. <laughs> nice. Can you tell me a little bit more about the money? I'm sorry, darling. That man will not be wealthy at the time of your marriage. Oh, well, then forget about it. You're not going to marry any jerk unless he's loaded already. And I'm talking big money. A yacht, a mansion, 
furs, diamond rings, mink coats. Boots and coats. What about love? Oh, yeah. That's important, too. Not to you. You love money, don't you, Kathy? How would I know? I've never had any. Soon after you are married, your man will inherit money. A great deal of money. It will come to him from someone near and dear to him. After he inherits the money, he will die. <sighs> Violently. I mean, I'm gonna be a widow. A rich widow. You will meet him tonight. A large man will make his approach. I'm ready. <laughs> attraction, Miss New, Nebraska, 1948. Let's put your hands together for Miss Aura Lee. Kind of generous, Al. It's more like stupid and stingy. Give me two stingers and a scotch straight up. What do you think these guys come in here for? I know, I saw the sign outside. It said, Big Tits, not Big Tips. <laughs> Ow, look at this guy who just walked in. Jesus, is he huge? Which guy? Which guy? How can you miss him? He's so big, he probably has his own zip code. Oh, you mean the full-size guy? Not your type, huh? I don't even think he's my species. But he's one of our best and brightest, so bite your tongue and go to work. We take care of our customers, sweetheart. Okay, Al. Yeah. So what will it be? Uh, I have a Rob Roy. Okay. Is this something else? Date tonight. After you get off work. Well, no problem on the drink, pal, but no way on the date. Hey. Are you playing hard to get? No. Just try impossible to get. Hey, Al. One Rob Roy for the fat boy. Coming up, sweetheart. Take no for an answer. And how about never? Like, no way. Not for all the money in the world. See, the thing is, you moved me, baby. Get serious. Allied van lines couldn't move you. <laughs> it's OK. Let's make a joke. I know I'm, uh, I'm a little overweight. A little overweight? Yeah, and Hitler's a little anti-Semitic. Madden House is a little bald, and the Pope's a little Catholic. Hey, come on. Hey, what are you doing, baby? You can't escape it. We got a special connection between us. We're gonna be together. It's destiny. He's not the man I'm gonna marry. Mm, you were rude to him, weren't you? Come on, take it easy. Sit down. He's a pig. And his face. 